She must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. I think I know where I can find her. Signals coming from a cast of backpack. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Marit! Marit! It's me, Yasna. Marit, wake up. Wake up. Do you hear me? Dr. Marit? No. No vital Wait, functions. What's I need two. One. Two. Three. Come on. One. Two. Nothing. Don't do this to me, Marit. Don't. Please. Doctor. Yes, sir. We have to find the others. Please give me a minute. Of course. Everything will be fine. All fine. Cobble's next. Yes, I think so. You should be close. Do you think? 
think? Call them. Let's not assume the worst. We'll find the doctor alive. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. to me. You're alive! Did you hear that, sir? Cobble's alive. I didn't doubt it for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Cobble? Cobble? His eyes are... So empty. Just like Crouch's. Koval, what the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crouch's? He's calm. Calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Asa. The lander is on its way, but before we get Dr. Koval on board, I want you to do so. Yasna. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. Everywhere. In pieces. No, not good. Cobble was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. I'll go over them. But it may take a while. Huh. Have you found it? No, it's a... Uh... Nothing about Dr. Gorski. Ah, found them. Surprise. Amazingly accurate. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get cobbled to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in 1G. But... Gravity here should make things a tad easier. Degradation of equipment, recurring connectivity issues. It all has to be related somehow. On the other hand, how could it be? There's not much on this planet. Some primitive life forms in the ocean, metal deposits in the ground. Although the latter got Dr. Gorski's interest for some reason. It's crazy how everything's falling apart here. I don't know. Maybe we're dealing with some kind of anomaly. An atmospheric or magnetic phenomenon. Uh, wouldn't something like that show on the charts? All those measurements Gorski took? I remember. Maybe he made a mistake. See you 
I'm up there. Only Gorski's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. And Dr. Crowther doesn't. I have to go back for him. There's no need. I just regained control of the Andromon, so please leave it to me. I'll carry him as well as the... Dr. Marit's body. In the meantime, please focus on finding Gorski. I'm leaving the excavation site. <sighs> How did he come down? Gorski's signal. So soon? It's unlikely to be him. Then who? You were correct, sir. It's just our probe. It looks inactive. Can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe could prove useful in the search. And besides... You'll see. the systems on no no stop wait for my instructions there's a button on the left side of the fuse box hold it and then turn the dial again now go ahead slide records correct i i didn't know we had access to them you couldn't have known this is not standard procedure but as they say extremis malice extrema remedia Take a look. Oh, 
nothing interesting. Should I be looking for a specific location? Date? The excavation site. Fourth day of the mission. these structures. This is where they began to dig. Twelve hours passed. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. It happened in a matter of seconds. But there's... There's nothing except dunes. Sand, a few rocks, a shadow. Shadow. Another sandstorm, I guess. All right, Doctor. Let's move on. You may turn on the fuses now. We'll take the probe with us. Good. I've got it on my radar. Now I can give commands to the probe. And? What do you see? Is it working correctly? If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. I have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Nice to have some company. Uh, I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. That's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Huh. A name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. Please enter Luna. L. U. N. A. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. Detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. No crossroads? Branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. I 
first point. You guess? We have to be sure, Doctor. Well, I'm at the first clear branching of these structures, such as reported by Dr. Gorski. All right. What happened next? Follow the branch to the right. Another thing he reported was a massive vertical structure. detected something. Yeah, I see that in the readings. What is it exactly? The structure from the notes, it fits the description perfectly. Well done, Luna. I knew I could count on you. Well, we didn't bring it to the surface for no reason. Even in the first stage procedure. Oh, now I'm gonna apply for my own. As soon as you find Dr. Gorski, I'll see to it myself. All right, how about that point? What does it look like? The next point, the third one, is a metal bundle running along the bottom of some water reservoir. Interesting. An object as such should be easy to locate. And the metal bundle? As expected. It's at the bottom. Before you ask, sir, there's little to say about it. All right. So how many are left? Two points. Or at least that's what he told Koval. What he did next? It's hard to assess. Well, the battery in the detector lasts for only a few hours. So he couldn't have gone much further. The fourth point is a structure that feels a rock massive. On top of which, he found surface structures. Huh. Sounds like a crucial node in this whole system. some tangible evidence that he was going this way. <laughs> Good. And it's downhill all the way, Doctor. I wouldn't be so sure, Astrogator. The next point is at a height of approximately 100 meters. Definitely uphill. I think we have the fourth point. I confirm. It's the fourth one. I see our flag. What a 
if I don't find him at all. You will. Just follow his tracks carefully. According to our records, it's been no more than six hours since he was here. Think about it, Doctor. On a cosmic scale, it's nothing. But on a human scale, it could mean the difference between life and death. Structures undergo noticeable changes here. If it keeps growing at this rate, I don't know what I'll find at the end. What kind of growth are you talking about, Doctor? Depth, width, complexity level? In every aspect. Interesting. Do you think these veins lead somewhere? To something? I'm leaning more and more towards that conclusion. But I can't tell what we might expect at the end, if it ends at all.
gas now. Focus. What now? Three, two, one. The land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. Certain, proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll set the lander right away. the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Kovel and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I, I don't see anything like it now, sir. down the parameters. Azimuth, 350. Distance, 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. Got it. I see the bushes. And the doctor? Hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Huh. It's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor... But when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose the probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. Lead the way. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. Hey, can I fly for this long? Yes. Longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. I don't know. For me, it's only a matter of time before machines surpass their creators. The only question is when. Problem. Something serious? Huh. Maybe it's true that machines will surpass us. But not today. The route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. <coughs> Unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. 
its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> Can you imagine us, protonaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No, not in the course of evolution. You can't affect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. <laughs> Have you started to fear for your position? Well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? We won't be limited by our own abilities. Robots will excel in areas where we either cannot or do not want to surpass them. To put it bluntly, they will do the dirty work for us. And we'll just sit in the warm privacy of a laboratory, send them to the other side of the universe? Yeah, that's one example. Well, I don't know. Shh, Astrogator. Can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. talking about robots and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, I don't know. He must be a long way from here. Gorski, are you here somewhere? These bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use the language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So, they look like pituitary, brush-like formations. They can be singular, though in some locations they create a uniform thicket that covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush-like layer. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. That's how it looks, to put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? Staying on the topic of biological analogies, these bushes remind me of corals in a purely visual category because they're far from marine organisms. So I would guess that these are colonial structures, perhaps rock-forming ones. However, their main structure has nothing to do with corals. No noticeable mesenchymal tissues, no nidocyst, matocyst, or spirocyst. No visible oral discs. All right, all right, Doctor. I didn't ask for a marine biology lecture. Astrogator. Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. Yes, and he will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, 
There's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Please continue your search. We have to find it. That's the unwritten rule, isn't it? Under no circumstances do we leave anyone behind. That's right, Doctor. You can lose everything else, but you have to have the crew on board. The living and the dead. This is one of the most crucial imperatives, even though it's not in the regulations. up but I understood I'll let you know sir when I come out of the tunnel All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. I'm going outside. Visibility? 100%. The dust has already settled. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. Sir, something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew doctor. Right. I'm inside. And? How is it? Even if they wanted to, they couldn't go back to Dragonfly. Their lander looks damaged, to put it mildly. Or more accurately, it, it seems like a storm has passed through it. Understood. I mean, I don't understand how it happened. But that means... Hopper is the only vehicle that can take us home. Affirmative. Right. Well, then we can't afford another mistake. I'm taking the lander into orbit. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time, that's normal. But now... Go ahead. What's bothering you? This lack of communication. It takes too long. Especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes, it worries me too.
with an object in sight. This is where they searched the ocean's biosynosis. Meaning, oh, where they caught that fish, right? along the coastline northward. Correct. But I think you might consider taking a shortcut towards the east, straight to the camp. Copy that. Heading east. signs of the crew? I'd found a cigarette butt and a pack. Someone was smoking here. So, they didn't give a damn about the regulations. Disrupting the ecosystem. Then that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor, but the mission's safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Preserving the integrity of Regis 3's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario. Negligible, actually. Security procedures exist for humans. The rule of integrity is for the sake of everything alien to us. We shouldn't place one above the other. You see, yes. The mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. Always. Excuse my interruption, sir. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I can go. This route will reach the camp within an hour. So, continue. This route may be faster. But it's not the easiest. Anyway, back to our conversation. structure. It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. Oh, I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation is stabilized, we will...
going on, sir? Astrogator? Dr. Yasmin. I tried to resuscitate his family. No, please. Koval? Dr. Krauter. How? There was nothing wrong with him. Hypothalamic shock. He bled out during the flight. I still don't understand. He wasn't hurt. His injuries must have occurred later. I found him like this when I entered Hopper. I I'm sorry. It's on me. It it's my fault. No, Doctor. As Commander, I take full responsibility. But it was me that left him. On my order. You're too hard on yourself, as usual. If only I... Stop it, really. Please, stop. If is a very cruel word. He doesn't deserve its torment. I confirm, Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> Why hasn't he yet? <sighs> Going down after him. <sighs> Tell me one thing, sir. What did you do with Crouch's body? I placed him in a cryo chamber. Are you going to use a grave tapper? Yes, I'm considering that as a possibility. What is your opinion? stuck. I'm hanging with all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. <sighs> Can you go back? Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight? No, not a chance. What if you sway? Just jump off. Is that safe? A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that yet, sir. He could keep going even with injuries. So, do you have another idea? Oh, will I be hanging like this until the end of time itself? There is a certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. I'm listening. Can you see the probe? Yes. It's flying near me. Good. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. All right. Let's give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. Two meters forward. Stop, that's enough. You have a really good eye. Exactly two meters. <laughs> you could say so. I fell from a lower height. It was a soft landing, though. 